According to a 2019 report by the Alzheimer's Association, Arizona is predicted to have the fastest growth rate in the country for the nation's sixth leading cause of death by 2025. Reporter Kyle Dowd spoke with a family who has been personally affected by Alzheimer's to learn more about the condition that has a new diagnosis every 66 seconds in the U.S. Her friends affectionately call her the Alls Queen. She wears the nickname like a crown. Diane Scheel suffers from early onset Alzheimer's, but for Diane, there isn't much suffering. Oh, that was a nice one. I just like to be um, happy. Her daughter, Tara Lowey, was surprised by her mother's optimism. One of the coolest things she said was, I'm not in any pain, so life is good. I don't have any pain with this. So that's pretty remarkable. Diane's primary caretaker is her husband, Randy, who recalls the first time he confronted Diane seven years ago after noticing her memory problems. I said, have you ever felt or noticed lately that you have any memory problems? And she immediately broke down and she started crying and she was nodding her head. Yes, I, I do. Experts at the Banner Alzheimer's Institute say Alzheimer's is the most common type of dementia, a general term for a decline in mental ability that affects daily functions. It's especially alarming when they start to affect their day-to-day -day life. So for example, you know, we all can forget to pay a bill once in a while, but people with dementia are likely to consistently forgetting to pay the bills, forgetting to take the medications, etc. Alzheimer's kills more people than prostate cancer and breast cancer combined, according to the Alzheimer's Association. By 2050, Alzheimer's and other dementias are expected to cost the U.S. more than $1 trillion. It's going to be a big burden, I think, on society. And we keep our fingers crossed that, you know, something good will happen. And I think awareness is a big deal, like with any disease. Diane's family members say the key to managing the condition is laughter. We laugh constantly. It's insane how much we laugh. And she's going through this terrible disease. How can you laugh about it? But she'll say really funny things. And we just don't know where it comes from. But she makes us all laugh like crazy. And my dad makes us laugh. And um, I think laughter is the most important thing for Alzheimer's. She'll say, I can't find my lipstick. You know, I said, well, did you look in the refrigerator? You know. <laughs> And then she just starts laughing, you know, and it takes the edge off, the stress. Randy's pretty good at that. <laughs> and, and all the kids are, all the grandkids are pretty funny. <laughs> Lowie says she was worried her mom wouldn't remember that she had a baby, but Diane still asks about her grandson daily. Every time he comes over, we have so much fun. It's incredible. I'm constantly taking videos and pictures of them so that he can remember what it was like when he was younger with his grandma, and it melts my heart. They're just, like, connected in a different way from everybody else. Randy says Alzheimer's initially turned his life upside down, forcing him into an early retirement so that he could care for his wife of 44 years. You know, why her? Um, this wonderful, charming, beautiful girl that all of a sudden is dealing with this. Well, that, I think, um, makes you realize that it can happen to anybody. Today, Diane needs help with nearly all tasks. <laughs> Randy has had to learn some new skills. I never thought I'd see the day where I had to learn how to put on mascara. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, wait a minute, I got to take this. What do I do with this? <laughs> Luckily, Diane's condition has remained stable in recent months, but Alzheimer's can be unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen, so she could decline tomorrow and need a bunch of help. Randy says he and Diane have always lived a life without regret and that they travel as much as possible while his wife is still able to. If it's something that we really want to do and something that we can afford to do, rather than just sit around and talk about it, we'll go do it now, you know. Whereas before you think, ah, there's plenty of time in life to do that. Well, maybe not. So do it while you can. Despite the challenges, their marriage has always been successful.
In Phoenix, Kyle Dowd, Cronkite News.